guys welcome to your love reading for uh taurus this is going to be for your uh november 2024 you can apply this to your sun moon rising venus signs we are going to take a look and see what is going on with you guys in love okay uh well actually what's next in love for you guys uh apply this to your own unique situation switch the roles if you want like share comment subscribe um hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when i go live also if you guys are interested in following me on tiktok instagram my other youtube channel that is dedicated solely to my travels the links for those are in the description box below also if you guys are interested in wanting to book a personal reading with me the link for that is also in the description box below all right so tell me about Taurus, what messages do we have for, for Taurus and love? What's next in love for Taurus? What's next in love for Taurus here? What's next in love for Taurus? So Taurus, we have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. We have the Six of Swords. It seems like you're moving away towards calmer waters here after a major Tower moment that you might have experienced here with somebody. Yeah, you know, right now in this very moment here, um, Taurus, I feel like you guys want to be alone. You guys are trying to reassess your life here. You guys are forming firm boundaries towards someone here where this terror moment happened here. Like a sudden change, a sudden shift just happened. And I feel like you guys had to move away from this here, move towards calmer waters here. You know, I feel like you guys definitely, you know, took it for what it is and that you guys are moving towards a new beginning here, okay? You know, there's a sense of wanting to start all over and that you guys are definitely kind of like, you know, just doing you, you know, introspecting, you know, uh, reassessing, you know, and, you know, because that, that uh, uh, that's number seven. It's a very uh, spiritual number here. This is an individual here that spends time on their own, you know, trying to figure out their life here. Okay, let's see what else we have. Tell me the tower here. All right, the tower, and also we have the magician, Gemini Virgo. I, I almost get the sense that this hat, like this tower had to fall. Okay, right now, you know, there's a sense of moving forward. You know, some of you guys could be moving to a new home, a different location. You know, this has nothing to do with love per se with somebody else, but more so that you're doing this out of self love for yourself, out of self respect for yourself here. The King of Swords and also the Ace of Swords here, the Fool, and also the King of Pentacles here. Okay, like I said, I feel like you guys are seeing it for what it is. You know, some of you guys are getting having some sort of major breakthrough in a relationship here where that you're realizing, okay, you know, this might not be what I'm looking for. You know, this is what I don't stand for here. Like, I, I this is, the energy is not really matching up here, you know, and it's time for you to boogie out of there. We have the Seven of Cups and also the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Seven of Wands here and the Nine of Wands here. This is really interesting. I feel like nothing really happened here per se. You know, tarot moments, you know, can be a big moment that happens, but it's more so like a sudden realization that, okay, yeah, this is not what I'm looking for here, you know? And like I said, I feel like maybe some of you guys are realizing that this is an opportunity for you guys to work on yourself. Let's say if you guys were in a relationship here and that you guys realize that there was all this trauma and all this pain that was not addressed yet. Some of you guys could be in this energy of, you know, stepping into that arena and addressing it here, okay? Yeah, there's a sense of needing to release here too, you see. Ten of Wands. So some of you guys could be carrying around a lot of burdens here that you guys need to release. Yeah, you know, sometimes some people just realize that, you know what, I have too much on my plate. I cannot be in a relationship. I need to take care of myself. I need to take, take care of my finances or whatever that may be here, Taurus. What else do we have for, for Taurus? What else does Taurus need to know, look out for, work on? For, um, for, uh, November 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus, for Taurus. Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords here in the Nine of Wands, okay. Have the two of pentacles here and also the 
hermit, Virgo energy. We also have the Ten of Swords here and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So what is next in love for you guys here? Yeah, I really feel like you guys are taking some time out for yourself to heal. We have the Nine of Wands two times here. So I feel like you guys went through some sort of dramatic, uh, traumatic, dramatic, and also traumatic situations with somebody here, where someone here emotionally was unavailable to you, and I feel like someone here was lying to you here. Okay, it's like I said, I feel like you notice this and you're like, bam, I, I need to I need to go. Okay, uh, I, I'm done with this here. Um, yeah, I feel like there was this, this was a very hard and difficult situation that you went through here because I felt like you thought this was true love, you know, but I feel like you might have realized that you might have been dealing with a false soulmate here in a way. Yeah, because that devil card is the opposite of that lover's card it's a lover's card it, this is like kind of like the lover's card but with like codependency with all the bad stuff mixed into it you know so we have the devil capricorn energy and the two of pentacles here we have the hermit and also the two of cups here tell me the ten of swords here and also the eight of swords you know, as you move away from the situation here, Taurus, I feel like someone here just can't stop thinking about you here. Yeah, someone here is like obsessing over you. Someone here that you walked away from here, okay? By you walking away from this queen here, I do feel like you might have bruised this person's ego. I do feel like this person is very emotionally abusive here, okay? The Seven of Pentacles here and also the Nine of Pentacles here. Yeah, you're definitely freeing yourself from the situation here. You guys are in this very independent energy here. Like I said, you guys are spending a lot of time on your own here, just sort of like healing, doing your own thing here. We also have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the High Priestess here, and also the Ace of Cups here. I feel like more so that you could be in this energy of loving this person from afar, loving this person from a distance here. This person will try and come back around to apologize here, but you just might keep your cool or that you just might stay quiet here or to avoid an hour, another tower moment with this individual here with the tower. And like I said, you could be taking it for what it is and, you know, I see things for what it is and that, you know, you're just walking away from this here and walking towards your happiness here and maintaining your boundaries with this person here. Okay, so Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.